afternoon, Martin. Good afternoon, David. Ready to get started? Sure. Right. How did last week's assignment go? Uh, I'm not sure. I worked on the problems. Okay, well, let's have a look at it. Let's go over the problems and see if we can clear up any questions that you have. Have you scheduled your exam yet? Um, no. I'm not ready, am I? I think you are. What are you waiting for? David, what's the matter? David, is the fee? The registration fee for the exam? Yes. Okay. We're working out. Okay. Okay, don't worry. You, okay. you will get your GED. We've come too far for you not to get it. Good. All right. Okay. Let's get back to the books for now. Okay. Let's look at the last chapter uh, in the book uh, and go through the exercises. Okay. okay. What time is your next bus? Uh, not sure. I just go to the bus stop and wait. Okay. Same time next week? If that works for you, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Then we can discuss the date and time that you will take your exam. Okay. You're ready, I promise. If you say so. I do. Okay. You go to the bus stop with me? Yeah, just walk through it. Cars right along the way. Today, approximately 643,000 people will experience homelessness in America. 238,000 of those people are in families. 25% suffer from mental illness. 17% are considered chronically homeless. 13% are fleeing domestic violence. And 12% are veterans. Over one fifth of people experiencing homelessness are children. 69% are over the age of 24, and 9% are between the ages of 18 and 24. Women experiencing homelessness are more likely to be sheltered than either men or transgender people, with more than three quarters of them staying in emergency shelters, transitional housing programs, or safe havens, while only 63% of men and 45% of transgender people are sheltered. Approximately 63% of Americans have no emergency savings and could only be one paycheck away from becoming another part of the homeless statistic.